All right, hello to you. Good afternoon. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. This is the time of the afternoon where we scan the tropics and see if there's anything going on that we need to worry about. Before we get there, though, I want to take you back to right before the season. Of course, we did have NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, come out with their prediction what they thought was going to happen for the 2025 Atlantic Basin hurricane season and they thought about a 60% chance for an above average season 30% shot for a near normal season and about a 10% chance for a below normal season so it looks like we're going to end up in that 30% portion of the pie there near normal they call for 13 to 19 named storms we've had about 13 six hurricanes and six to ten hurricanes and then three to five major hurricanes so let's look at our actual numbers there you have it 13 named storms five hurricanes so not quite up to what they were predicting and then four major hurricanes so yeah we overperformed in the major hurricanes department average season would bring us about 14 named storms seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes so it has been a near average season slightly below normal in the first two categories but above average for for the number of major hurricanes. Of course, we've had four and three of those major hurricanes have been category five. So like I've been saying, that is the first time in 20 years that we've had that. So it has been a very busy season at times. I think the most catastrophic hurricane, of course, Melissa, as it ravaged and devastated Jamaica with 185 mile per hour winds. So here's the good news. We only have about 19 days left in the 2025 Atlantic Basin hurricane season and the chance for any type of tropical system, tropical storm, hurricane, tropical depression to hit the Houston area or the Texas Gulf Coast extremely low. We have stronger cold fronts dropping in from the north now and water temps in the northern Gulf have cooled off some as well. But of course, we are still watching it. It's not over till it's over and we do still have about 19 more days left in our hurricane season for this year. Of course, the peak of hurricane season was back on September 10th, and ever since then, at least historically, we typically said, see a downward trend in the overall activity. So we've got about 4% of that activity remaining out there, and we do still have a little ways to go in our hurricane season, but overall, things are looking good. We've had 13 named storms from Andrea all the way down to Melissa, which was that catastrophic hurricane that hit Jamaica, strongest ever on record, but things are quiet out out there in the Atlantic Basin right now. Water temps, though, are still warm enough to support tropical activity for the central and southern portions of the Gulf and for a big portion of the Caribbean and even into parts of the western Atlanta. You can see a lot of 80s out there with those water temps. Notice the northern Gulf water temps have cooled off a bit. We've had some colder air, stronger fronts coming in from the north, and water temps are now down to mainly the 70s. So definitely the chance for tropical development in the northern Gulf much lower. But there's still a shot and we are still monitoring areas of showers and storms that have been bubbling up in the eastern Pacific, western Caribbean, and we're monitoring the Central American gyre where we could see maybe a brief spin up of a area of low pressure right around this that could turn into a tropical depression or tropical storm. But right now, nothing that looks super impressive. So our satellite will show you some flare ups, clusters of showers and storms in the west, northwestern parts of the Caribbean, and a few in the eastern Pacific, but nothing at all in the Gulf, Western Atlantic looking quiet. So we are going to monitor the Eastern Pacific, Western Caribbean, because if we got anything, that is where it will likely develop over the next few weeks. But the chance is extremely low, which is good news. So at this point, notice the yellows and the oranges indicating some of that convection, some of those showers and storms around Central America, Southern Mexico, but nothing that is actually organizing into a tropical system. So that is good news. So I think we are okay for now. National Hurricane Center thinking that 
things are going to stay fairly quiet. No tropical activity expected to develop over the next week. You can see our GFS future cast showing just general storminess, showers, storms, clouds around Central America, Southern Mexico, but nothing that looks like it is going to blow up into something concerning like a tropical storm or a hurricane. And also notice by this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, the Gulf once again remains extremely quiet. So no tropical development expected over the next seven days. That's great news. After that, we really don't have much more of the hurricane season to get through. It only goes through the end of this month. So for the next few weeks, we will be monitoring the area shaded in yellow for possible development. The chance is low, but it is possible for parts of the western Atlantic. You can see back over towards the Bahamas and the western and northwestern Caribbean right around the Yucatan Peninsula, the east coast of Central America. There could potentially be a little spin up, a brief spin up of a tropical system, but the chance is very low and at this point we're not seeing anything at all out there to worry about so it's good news in the weather department tropics are quiet right now and hopefully we can keep it that way for a few more weeks until this season will be a wrap so things are quiet of course we'll keep tracking it day by day and